Before I get started with this photo mode review, I just want to quickly shout out Mick Gordon, the composer of Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. I just recently got done reading kind of the whole fallout between him and uh, id Software and Bethesda, and honestly, I just feel so bad for Mick. It sounds like he had his heart in the right place, sounds like some of the executives at Bethesda just totally disrespected his artistry and yeah anyway you're about to hear his music in my little intro so shout out to Mick the game was very special and I think it was mostly because of the music and gameplay combined so yeah shout out Mick all right so Doom Eternal is so close to being a great photo mode it has some really cool features with room for experimental creativity however there's just one simple thing that brings the whole experience down let's get into it So Doom Eternal's photo mode can only be accessed after completing a mission. This sucks. Why do this? I keep trying to think of a good excuse on behalf of the studio. Is it because the devs don't want people using it to figure out puzzles? Maybe, but who cares? You know, the first playthrough is when I try to take the most photos in a title, and I don't really have a ton of interest in replaying levels just to go back and do that. Now, this could all be chalked up to the fact that this photo mode is still in beta, but let's be real. That's just what Bethesda is now going to call everything going forward so they don't have another Fallout 76 on their hands. You know, I wouldn't even be surprised if Starfield is simply called Starfield, the beta. Who's laughing now? <laughs> the worst part about this too is the photo mode is actually quite good. There's posing options that I love, there's some great filters that, you know, turn the screen into like a retro Doom look. And the camera controls can be quite fun. There are speed options, which I always talk about in photo mode, so you can get these smooth, nice, precise shots. I love it. Now, unlike the first Doom, Eternal's locations are quite vast and make for a variety of environments to capture. I think the coolest feature is the next frame option, which moves the world forward by one frame in case you wanted to catch that perfect lightning strike in the distance. This feature can also just be held down to create sort of a time-lapse shot for you video people out there. Very cool. Now, on the downside, the depth of field controls are utterly confusing and make it hard to impossible to get correct depth in long distance shots. But this is a beta after all, so can I complain? Doom Eternal is awesome, and I'm glad the devs put the mode in. I just wish it would have been more of an option throughout. I'm not really wanting to dive back into the campaign just to take photos when there's a ton more photo modes and games that I need to explore. Considering this game came out in 2020 and this photo mode is still in beta, I kind of doubt we ever see it fully realized. But who knows? Maybe Doom Eternally Eternal the Third will get a proper photo mode. <laughs> 